From the nation's capital, the House passed the federal version of Kyla's law on Monday. The child protection legislation is named for Kyla Davenport from the Charlotte area. She was nearly beaten to death by her stepfather last year. Our Washington Bureau reporter Jeff Bennett has more. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. And with that, the House passed the Kyla Davenport Child Protection Act. North Carolina Republican Robert Pittenger sponsored the federal bill, and he spoke on the House floor with a before and after photo of Kyla Davenport behind him. Davenport was just three years old last year when her stepfather beat her so severely that she was left brain damaged. She's made some progress. Her family's encouraged. They assist her 24-7. It's changed their lives. But to the credit of the Davenport family, they wanted what occurred to their child to make sure that that never happened again. Under old North Carolina law, her stepfather, Joshua Hauser, faces only four to six years in prison. Pittenger's legislation encourages states to fix deficient child abuse laws by directing each attorney general to outline for Congress their state sentencing for child abuse. We have found in many states that there are very minimal and lax sentencing. In the South, there's one state <clears throat> that it's uh, a year and a day could be the maximum sentence. One state in the Northeast is seven years. One state out West is five years is the uh, max sentence. This shouldn't be. And by highlighting outdated sentencing laws, Pittenger hopes state legislatures will be motivated to fix them to help prevent what happened to Kyla Davenport from happening again. The bill now heads to the Senate. In Washington, Jeff Bennett, News 14, Carolina.